Now, forget RoboCop, how about RoboDoc? Scientists think robotic healthcare assistance could soon become a reality. Yes, a team at the University of Sheffield have received government funding to develop ways of using new technology in hospitals and care homes, as Luxmi Gopal has been finding out. This is Benny the robot. He's in a home lab in Sheffield, but he's being controlled in real time from Manchester. Through the technology, anyone, anywhere can immerse themselves in the robot. I've become the robot simply by putting on a VR headset. And now I can see everything the robot sees. And they can control the times. Robotics firm CyberSelves has developed a versatile, more user-friendly programming system. So what robots can't yet do alone can be done with the help of human controls. They hope it'll revolutionise health tech. Well, there's increasing use of robots in healthcare right now, but the artificial intelligence that powers those robots isn't quite up to scratch. And the programming is very, very hard. It requires incredibly specialist um, degrees to program robots. So what we're trying to do is simultaneously make it easier to control robots and also to make up that gap for the artificial intelligence. So um, a, a robot moving around a hospital, let's say cleaning a ward, uh, will get stuck or won't know how to do a certain task. A human being can enter into it, perform the task, and the robot can then learn in the future from that as well. The same system can be used to control any number of robots to perform a whole range of different tasks, from surgery to bomb disposal, or, for example, in care homes as a way of having COVID-safe company. You bet. No social distancing needed here. It's the closest to being with someone without actually being there and opens a world of possibilities. How are you today? I've got your medicine right here. The doctor could be hundreds of miles away. It could be some specialist that you would like to see a patient and they might be in New York. And they just need to put on a VR headset and they could be in Sheffield uh, looking at this patient. Can you look to the left for me, please? And now to the right? You're saying, well, can you show me your leg? And you can look at the leg, you know, uh, and you can do that just if, as if you were in the room. It's that the naturalness and the spontaneity of it which is going to make a difference. The team's work is already making a difference. Here in Italy, guiding people with limited mobility through tasks and drawing conversation from autistic youngsters who otherwise struggle with social interaction. They've now received government funding to explore new ways of helping healthcare through robots like Benny here in a Covid world and beyond. Lakshmi Gopal. And Benny for BBC News in Sheffield. It's a glimpse of the future, that. Wow. They could replace anyone in any job, Rog. Yeah, easily.